the devastating effects of extreme heat, intensifying wildfires, stronger hurricanes, and rising sea levels. Former President Trump, you've vowed to end your opponent's climate initiatives, but will you take any action as president to slow the climate crisis? Well, let me just go back to what he said about the police, how close the police are to him. Almost every police group in the nation from every state is supporting Donald J. Trump. Almost every police group. And what he's done to the black population is horrible, including the fact that for 10 years he called them super predators. We can't, in the 1990s, we can't forget that. Super predators was his name. And he called it to them for 10, and they've taken great offense at it. And now they see it happening. But when they see what I did for criminal justice reform and for the historically black uh, colleges and universities where I funded them and got them all funded and the uh, opportunity zones with with Tim, as you know, Tim Scott was incredible. He did a great job. Great senator from South Carolina. He came to me with the idea and it was a great idea. It's one of the most successful economic development acts ever in the country. Opportunity zones and the biggest beneficiary are blacks. And that's why we have the best numbers with them in maybe ever. They're saying ever. I read this morning where ever the best numbers. He's lost much of the black population because he's done a horrible job for black people. He's also done a horrible job for Hispanics. But wait till you see these millions of people pouring into our country and they're going to take the jobs and it's already started and you haven't seen anything yet. It's a disaster. You 38 seconds left. President Trump, will you take any action as president to slow the climate crisis? So I want absolutely immaculate clean water and I want absolutely clean air and we had it. We had H2O. We had the best numbers ever. And we did, we were using all forms of energy, all forms, everything. And yet, m during my four years, I had the best environmental numbers ever. And my top environmental people gave me that statistic just before I walked on the stage, actually. I don't know where the hell he's been. The idea that anything he said is true. <laughs> I passed the most extensive the most extensive climate change legislation in history, in history. We find ourselves, and by the way, black colleges, I, I came up with $15 billion for HBCUs, historic black universities and colleges, because they don't have, a, they don't have the kind of contributors that they have to build these laboratories and the like. Any black student is capable in college of doing any white student can do. They just don't have the money, but now they'll be able to get those jobs and high tech. We're in a situation where the idea that he is claiming to have done something that had the cleanest water, the cleanest water, he hadn't done a damn thing for the environment. He pulled out of the Paris Peace Accord, uh, Climate Accord. I immediately joined it because if we reach 1.5 degrees Celsius at any one point where there's no way back, the only existential threat to humanity is climate change. And he didn't do a damn thing about it. He wants to undo all that I've done. The Paris Accord was going to cost us a trillion dollars, and China nothing, and Russia nothing, and India nothing. It was a ripoff of the United States. And I ended it because I didn't want to waste that money because they treat us horribly. We were the only ones. It was costing us money. Nobody else was paying into it. And it was a, it was a disaster. But everything that he said just now, I'll give you an example. I heard him say before, insulin. I'm the one that got the insulin down for the seniors. I took care of the seniors. What he's doing is destroying all of our medical programs because the migrants coming in, they want everybody. And look, I have the, I have the biggest heart on the stage, I guarantee you that. And I want to take care of people. But we're destroying our country. They're taking over our schools, our hospitals, and they're going to be taking over Social Security. He is destroying Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. The idea is that we, in fact, we were the only ones of consequence who were not, who were not members of, of the Paris Accord. How can we do anything if we're not able to, the United States can't get this under control? One of the largest polluters in the world, number one. We're making significant progress. By 2035, we will have cut pollution in half. We have made, we have made significant progress. And we're continuing to make progress. We set up a climate corps for thousands of young people to learn how to deal with climate, just like the Peace Corps. And we're going to, we're moving in directions that are going to significantly change the elements of cause of pollution. But the idea 
that he claims that he has the biggest heart up here and he's really concerned about about pollution and about climate. I've not seen any indication of that. And by the way, with regard to prescription drugs, one company agreed that they would reduce the price to $35, which I was calling for, one, voluntarily. I made sure every company in the world, every pharmaceutical company, cannot have to pay. Thank you. And by the way. So every day, millions.